So we're here at Stanley Ferry Workshop near Wakefield, um, which British Waterways is open it, opening up to the public today, um, so that the public can see exactly everything that goes into making new lock gates for the nation's 200 year old network of canals. Um, the canals are arguably the finest examples of industrial heritage anywhere in the world, so let's get a small insight into the work that keeps them flowing. Um, I'm here with Steve Brunt, who's the workshop manager. Um, Steve, what are we looking at? Here in this in this um, car park. These are the timber timber from um, the sawmill at um, Pontrialis. This is the timber list for the lock gate manufacture. Right, fantastic. Let's go in and have a look at the workshop. What will we come to first? Well, this is uh, we'll come to the dry dock to start with, and this is where BW and Private Craft are repaired and refurbed. So they basically they sail in from this side, from that side yes. and then they end up in here and, and you let the water out. We can let the water out, put them on the floor there and uh, work on them, paint them, repair the engines, etc. Fantastic. Let's go through to the workshop. There's um when you come in here, you notice that there's a, a really lovely smell. What is that? That's the smell of the oak. Um, that's the oak that we use for the manufacture of the lock gates. It's the nice yellow, orangey wood you can see there. Fantastic. How many lock gates does British Waterways have? I think it's around about over two, over 2,000. So it's quite a lot then, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. Um, and how many people actually work here in this workshop? In this particular workshop we have nine people. This is the main lock gate department. We have nine people. We have eight joiners and one machinist. So they're all skilled craftsmen, really? They're, all of them are skilled craftsmen, yeah. Fantastic. Um, and how many lock gates do you make each year in this workshop? Again, that depends on the size of the lock gates required. Yeah. But around about, um, between the two workshops, around about 200 to 240. Okay. Um, and this here, what are we looking at here? That's a Leeds and Liverpool style gate um, for the canal just at the other side of Skipton, Gargrave. And so is each canal different? Does, it e does each canal need a different kind of lock gate? Each canal is different in its sense that it, it has different heritage values which we try to maintain at the workshops. Right, fantastic. And how long does it take to make a gate like that? Again, this one is, this one took uh, the two men 12 days to make. And how has the process of making lock gates changed over the 200, 300 years we've been making it's them? It's predominantly the same. It's, it's the things that have changed is the is, uh, efficiencies in, in techniques and, and uh, modern machinery. Fantastic. Um, and how many people do you think, it's only lunchtime here today, how many people do you think we've already had? Oh, we've had uh, between 900 and uh, 1,000 people. Fantastic. That's great. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome.